Hi, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be showing you the pots and pans that I use on a daily basis. People tell me most of the time that they love the cookware that I use. Thank you so much. So I thought this video will be interesting for you all. First, let's see these amazing non-stick cookware that I've been using for a long time. These are called Rock Pan by Starfit. The 7 inch small wok pan is highly used in my kitchen mainly for deep frying because it doesn't take up so much oil and also for making whatever or uh, vegetable stir fry. I use this 10 inch flat pan for making chapatis or making crepe or dosas. The best part about this rock pan is that it is completely scratch proof you can use the metal utensils. This grill pan is very useful when I'm making wraps. I've just learned recently that stainless steel cookware is the best cookware for uh, safe and non-toxic cooking. So I'm trying my level best to shift to stainless steel. I haven't started much yet, so I just have few of them. I use this IKEA 2 liter saucepan with lid a lot while making uh, soups or cooking pasta or sweet corn etc. This one liter saucepan by the Turkish brand Korkmaz is my uh, pan for making tea every day and this uh, 2.7 liter frying pan is used for making pasta sauces and this big pot I use very occasionally when making bulk masalas and things like that. My new obsession is cast iron pans. All the pans I have here is from the brand Lodge. At first I didn't like cooking in this pan at all because everything used to get stuck uh, onto the pan but now I understood that if you maintain this pan and season it well these pans turn out just like a non-stick pan. I feel these pans are relatively cheap when compared to non-stick pans and the best part is that cast iron lasts a long time and given proper care your pan will outlive you. Nowadays I fry fish and chicken in cast iron pans itself. I feel uh, the food gets a special flavor when you fry in these pans. Cooking eggs and french toast were unthinkable for me in this pan before but now see how easy it is to flip the bread. This 9 inch wok is a new addition uh, to my cast iron family and I really like it. I use it for making curries. This was my first ever cast iron pan but whatever I cooked in this pan used to be a sticky mess. But then what I did was I started using this pan for deep frying and then it transformed into a non-stick pan. To maintain these pans you have to always make sure that after washing you have to dry it completely either by keeping it on a stove or uh, with a tissue. Then uh, always season it well before storing. Here I'm spreading coconut oil all over the pan. Uh, make sure to um, season it in the backside and on the handle etc. Otherwise it will get rusted. Whenever I get a new cast iron pan, what I do is I add a little bit of coconut oil and reduce the heat to the lowest and keep it for uh, 20 minutes. I'm not even sure if this is the correct way but this is what I do. The category of pans that I'm trying to use the least nowadays are these teflon coated non-stick pans. But this pan by Le Creuset is much better than the usual non-stick pans. But uh, I am trying my level best to reduce the usage because I've read that when you heat uh, these teflon coated pans on high temperature for a long time it releases very toxic fumes. These high-end enameled cast iron cookware are very pretty to see and so for the same reason I use it mostly when cooking for YouTube videos. But now I transfer these pans from my cupboard to the kitchen so I'm thinking of using this for my daily cooking too. These pans come in two types of coating. One is a light cream colored coating like these ones and the other a black colored coating. Both are enameled and act somewhat like a non-stick and it doesn't have to be seasoned unlike the traditional cast iron pans. I find it little difficult when I try to fry meat in these kind of pans because it sticks a lot to the bottom but these are perfect for making curries and soups which contain a lot of liquid. I inserted a clip from my dragon fruit pudding video here so just ignore the milk uh, measurement there. These are the pans with the black interior. I get asked a lot whether from where I buy these enameled cast iron pans. I bought a few of them from uh, Tavola and uh, most of them I got from an online store called Tata Home. 
It's an online store in Italy, but their price for the pan are much cheaper when compared to the price here in the Middle East. Including the shipping charge, the total price will be much lesser. Lastly, I'll show you some of the granite cookware that I have. I got these pans from Ace Hardware and they're really good. Uh, this one and even the rock uh, pans which I mentioned in the beginning of the video, even that I got from Ace Hardware. This is a Bellarini uh, pan which I've been using for years and this 5 litre pan, even that this I've been using for years for making biryani and uh, ghee rice etc. So that's all in this video. Hope you liked it. If you did, please do comment, like and subscribe and share with your family and friends. Thank you so much for watching.